and welcome back to Squiddy Place. Today we are back with part number three of this beautiful game called Abzu. So in the last episode, what we managed to do is we put some more goo into the bigger blobby goo. I make it sound so special, don't I? But yeah, um, so we basically helped out a load of parts of the ocean. And look, there's some more liquid that's flowing underwater. I think actually someone commented saying, well, a lot of liquids are more dense than others, so some can actually like seem to flow underwater so yeah, some scientific people in the comment section but yeah um welcome back you see i still don't know what's happening we're still well this is a bit of a weird room isn't it so we're still trying to find out what our purpose is in this amazing game at the moment all we know is that we have the power to give back life into the ocean and actually look there we are doing the same thing we actually maybe they're our ancestors we're pouring water back into the ocean to give it life. So maybe, maybe that's what we're doing. Maybe we should just take some time and have a look at these amazing paintings and, and see. Yeah, I think this pretty much is. That's our dad. There are our brothers and sisters there with the light bulbs on the heads. And we're, uh, we're pouring a big yearn of water and fishes are flying up. Uh, and then over here, um, yeah, it's all full and we've done it. That's pretty much it. That's the story. That's what... Uh, books were like back then. You just used to scribble on the walls. <laughs> and uh, and there we go. There is the ocean replenished. But we do have a... Was there a hole here? Can we can we go through this? Because I know when I came into the room, this was like a, a little bit of a, a hole. Can we go into it or not? It's just the sun. We're flying into the sun, squid. Okay, let's go into the, into the, the next room here. But this is pretty cool. So when I was, when I was going like back through episode one and two, I actually went past quite a lot of these paintings and I didn't actually make the connection that they looked like me. So maybe I should have stopped instead and looked at them and, and thought, you know, that's my dad on the wall or whatever. <laughs> but here we go. So as you can see, we have the power of the ocean and we need these Doritos. These Doritos, what are these Doritos doing? We've seen them before. Maybe I'm being a little bit stupid here. So the Doritos go to the next level. Or maybe the Doritos are capping off life. Maybe maybe the Doritos are the enemies. <laughs> I don't even know. Well, what's he doing? He's standing on top of it. And these are like chained up, aren't they? But underneath the main one, there is this thing that gives life. So maybe we have to make our way through the Doritos to find that little thing down there. Am I being a derp? I really feel like I'm being a derp with these games. Like whenever I watch someone else play through them, like... I can always make sense of what's going on, but when I'm playing through it myself, I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm just so derpy. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. This is like, this is like my ancestor's home. We're going through the living room now. This is it. There's going to be a big TV on the wall. But this is pretty cool. This is pretty sick. Look, there's a, the windows and stuff. And we've got another room here. So let's light this up and we'll see if we can make sense of what this is. And oh, look at those eels and stuff. Whoa, them fish look scary. Do you see them with, like, the bright, glowing eyes? And, oh, look, some more paintings. Oh, it's the shark. Okay. So, on either side, uh, it looks like we're holding up, like, treasures. And then the shark's at the top of the food chain. So, is, it, is, this, is the shark, like, the god? Has the god been possessed? Yeah, look. Shark's top of the food chain. There's me, the squid, on the right-hand side. Uh, and that's where our house is underneath. So there's the whales and the sharks at the top and the stingrays. So maybe we've... Because we did the stingray first, then we did the whales. So maybe the next one is the shark that we get to. We're going to find out anyway. And I'm saying all this stuff, but whatever happens, we're going to find out, hopefully today, what's actually going on. We, all, we already know that this place is completely run down and it's something to do with the shark. We know we've had a bad experience with a shark before, the Great White. And I'm pretty sure that it is something to do with him. And oh, look, there's a Dorito blown off the wall. Looks like a, a big animal's come through here. The shark. Maybe the shark's the baddie. Let's not dilly dally anyway. Let's carry on going. And let's see where this story takes us. We've had a little bit of a story there. I say a story. We've made up a load of stuff. <laughs> Probably all wrong. But yeah, look, here we go. So the Doritos are the doors in our house, so we need to unlock them. Here we go. Take a bite out of that Dorito. Why is it? Wait. 
Oh, there we go. I'm so confused and I like pressed it. So here we go. These are the doors. Let's go through to the next area. Wait, where's my... Where's... Where's my little dudes? My little dudes like went at the door. Bumblebee went. Where did they go? So Bumblebee and Bumble Wasp sadly left me at the Dorito door. Now we're into a new area, which is much like the areas that we went to last time. What I mean by that is the highly dark, uninhabited, and uh, yeah, we, it needs our help. It desperately needs our help. Oh, it's a whale! Look at the size of this mama! Hello, it's a mummy and daughter whale, or mummy and son, or something like that. I don't know. Oh, this is amazing! You are absolutely beautiful. Can we? Okay, we'll just swim alongside you. I was gonna grab your um, fin and swim along with you, but so beautiful. Oh, look, it's a lot of whales! Ah, they want to get some krill. There we go, the feeding on fish and krill. Did you know that the blue whale can choke on a loaf of bread? That's why they eat krill, because their the back of the throat is tiny. Yeah, fact for you there. Ah, oh, look at these bees. Ah, oh, this is so amazing. So amazing. Oh, don't eat me! Oh! I thought he was gonna eat me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Oh, you are beautiful, aren't you? Ah. You are absolutely beautiful. I think that is the blue whale. Wow. The biggest thing to ever live on this earth, ever. Which is still in our oceans today. Don't leave me! No. Okay, we have got the flashlights. There is Doritos swimming about. That was magical though. Do these guys need our help? Are they mine? Ah! Okay, them guys are not friendly. <laughs> I thought we could help them, but yeah, they're the uh, electrocute me. Look, they're coming towards me. Okay, we need to activate this quickly. A goblin shark. Whoa. They are cool. Right, let's try and get out of here. And oh no, look at all these. Ooh. Ah, they're gonna blow up. Okay, let's go through this giant rib cage. Looks like um. Some dead whales ribcage, something like that. I don't know, this is, this is super creepy down here. I'm going to try and go for it as quick as I can because I don't really want to be blown up by any of these things. But let's go and interact with this. A Tomo Petrus? I think they're called. They are insane. They're like luminous skeletons. They're crazy. What has happened here? Can we get through this door? Let me in! It's full of mines down here. Oh, look, a squid. Hey, bro. How you doing? How you doing, bro? Yeah, this is creepy. Creepy as. Okay, let's just carry on going. Ooh, look at you. Can we swim alongside you? Oh, no. We can grab you. There we go. Oh, that's cool. Right, lead me to victory, sir. Lead me to victory. Okay, I'm just going to get off him. He doesn't want to go when I want to go. Right, let's carry on swimming down here. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah, 10 out of 10. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for the um, electrocution. <laughs> what are these things? The Doritos have turned on me. There we go, we killed them all. We just needed to get rid of the electricity. And that should have unlocked the door. Please? Please? Oh, there's one of the lights. Okay, so we need to follow the other cable to try and get the other light powered off. So let's boost if we can. Look, I'm a master at this boost now. I didn't know what to do at first, but what you're gonna do is you gotta, if you ever play this game, you gotta tap A once, tap A again, and then the third time, and then you get a boost. But you can also do it. Wait, we need to follow the. Am I dead? No, 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 don't die. Ah! Yeah, this is bad, isn't it? 
I don't really have, like, any lives. We're still alive. I do not know how we are still alive right now. I thought if we would have got electrocuted once, then we would have been... Dead. But we're not. Which is good. Alright, let's go through it. It should open now. Fingers crossed. There we go. And into... Where did that shark come from? Where did that shark come from? Where was he hiding? See, I told you, the shark's behind it. The shark is the bad guy in all this. He is an absolute numpty that we need to stop. Right, let's carry on going. Let's go and follow this shark before we get electrocuted anymore. Swim faster, squid. Boost it out. Boost it out. There we go. <gasps> ha ha! You are fish food. Pedigree chum. Do I have to help him? He's gonna eat me. I will help you, Mr. Shark. There you go. Even though you killed Bumblebee. So confused. Need answers. I need answers, Squid. We need answers. Why did he touch the shark? So is the shark not bad? Have I been told a lie? Have I been living a lie this whole time? Oh, look at the whales. Hello? What are you? I used to don't know what whale that is. I need to have a look. Can we? Can we? I want to. Please. No. Come back. Come back, sir. I want to grab your tail. Nope, he's gone. He's gone. He's absolutely gone. Can we go follow him? You know what? We might as well. Let's try and follow him. Oh, these camera angles. Ooh! Right, let's go down. Here we go. Let's boost all the way down. Whoa! Look at you! It's a kraken. It's a giant squidoodle. Wow, that is amazing. Look at this! You are magical. Yeah, look at Kraken. It's me, Mario. <laughs> it's me, Kraken. Look at how they like they swim. There's little flippers at the front. They're so epic. So cool. All right. Um, let's not get distracted, Squid. Let's carry on going down here. I have found the blobs that I must regen life back into this place. So let's go. Let's do it. I'm still very confused now. You know when you think that you know what's going to happen and like I, I thought that the shark was going to be the bad guy and then now since we helped it, I'm just so confused. I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen. And I think this is the last one out of the four that we need to get. And I'll show you what I mean once we we're able to look around. So you can see we got one there, we got one there and we got one there. So this is the last one out of the four which we actually need to regen life back into. So I'm hoping that we're going to be able to progress a little bit more in the storyline uh, once we put life back into this area. So it's going to be quite interesting to see where this story goes, to be honest with you. As I say, normally I have a good idea about a game and like what, what, what's going to happen and what the, the main gist is. But like right now, I'm still so confused. I don't know if it's just me being me, but hopefully we're going to find out. So yeah, let's do this. What's going to swim out this time? Is it going to be the whales? It's going to be the Krakens. It's going to be me. It's me, Squidoodilio. Right. So as I said, yeah, this is the last one. And there's me just, just chilling. I wonder what, what's going to happen. I can't wait to see. I need to switch feet because I've been sitting on a foot for like 20 minutes, wasn't it? Ah, there we go. So a new door has opened. We've regen life back into the, this area, as, I'd, as I said. But um, we don't have a bumblebee anymore. I wonder if I swim... You know what? Let's just get on with the storyline. We don't really need Bumpy, to be honest with you. Hi, dude. Hey, bruh. Hey, bruh. How you doing? Man, they are so cool, them creatures. Look at them. They're so epic. We swim alongside it. Wee. <laughs> right, let's not dilly dally. As I said, I want to I wanna see what's going to happen. So, let's go. Back into the darkness. I wish I could stay in the areas which have, have life a little bit more longer instead of just going to all these dark and, and dingy and lonely places but you know what 
It's my job, man. It's my job. Okay. The Doritos are now the bad guys. That's what I'm saying. Plot twist. Doritos are bad. We need to try and get our decent route out. I wonder if I swim just down here. There we go. We should be alright now. And then we'll just get a bit of a boost up here. I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. <laughs> just got 50,000 volts to the nugget. But I'm fine. This is insane. It's like I'm going inside the Death Star. <laughs> Right, what's gonna happen? I'm, I still don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just... You really wanna know. I'm literally saying that the Doritos have been corrupt. There's a lot of debris. Okay, dodge the electrocution. Where are we going? Bumblebee! A bum Bumblebee's made here? Okay, so we know that the Doritos are where Bumblebees are made. Are they getting corrupt? Is this thing corrupting them? Talk to me, Bumblebee! Right, we need to progress. I need to actually find out what's happening. What is happening in this place? Ooh! Please, please no. Thank you. Man, this is so weird. So we know that... That this is just... Be I think this is just... It obviously was once a nice place. But something's corrupted it. But we don't know what, and that's what we're going to find out today. Bumblebee, I see you. Okay, let's go and... Wait, what's going to... What, 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 what does it want? What does it want from me? So it shows me... What? There's a Dorito inside me. Is that what it's saying? <laughs> Wait, where did the console go? I wanna I wanna watch this TV show again. Okay, so Bumblebee has a blob. Yep, yeah, that's what we know. Has the power of giving. Uh the Dorito has a blob of giving. And we have the Dorito inside us. We also have the power of giving. So maybe this is where we were all made. I'm guessing we're all the same sort of stuff, so yeah, as I said, Doritos was once good. But they have been corrupt. And we need to find out what is corrupt in Doritos. Oh, please don't electrocute me again. I would very much like to stay unshocked. That would be magnificent. If you could just do that game. Thank you. Right. Come on, guys, let's crack this code. Illuminati confirmed. What is going on? Well, this is going to be tricky to get through, isn't it? Please no. <laughs> this is so intense. This is like the world's hardest level. It would be if I died, but I just seem to be getting shocked then just taking it like a boss and then just moving on. We have like... Okay, let's just get past this last one. Here we go. Man, that was intense. Look at all them. Whoa. I'm still confused. I still want to know what's corrupt this place. What is this? Okay. So, obviously one of the Doritos has gone bad. The shark tried to help us, but unfortunately he got killed. What's gonna 